Hi, welcome to a quick little playthrough of the only four existing parts of Virus Bloke 2, the interactive animated series, or the interactive movie, whatever. Yeah, unneeded button, yeah, let's go. Part 1. Part 1. Random sounds in the background that you probably couldn't hear. As you can see, this is similar to the intro to Virus Bloke 2, the actual game. If you've ever seen that. Oh! Yeah, basically this was modified for use for the RPG. Oh, God! Oh, the interactive movie! Yeah, returning home. This was short-lived. It only went up to the end of uh, Japan. Oh no! Halfway through the second porthole, the cliff. For those of you who know that, know what I'm talking about. Whoa! Yeah. I'm home at last. And it had awful faces. Mm, Yay again! I can't bear to remember how it was living in that rubbish tiny house back then. Sorry, high quality. Oh crap. Oi, stop remembering me! Wait, who am I talking to? Arm in front of mouth. <laughs> oh well, probably myself again. Let's get out of here! Yep, so all in all, this house is better. These pictures were just so bad. I should have just used the ones from Virus Bloke 2 itself rather than making new ones because the lighting was bad. I didn't look so great at the time. I need my front door key. It should be somewhere in the garden. Yeah, it should be. Let's go and look for it. <gasps> this garden bit doesn't exist in real life. Where is it? <coughs> there. It wasn't there in the actual game. Come on. Good. Uh. Um. Blink. Blink. Oh no! My fucking door! Lanky! I look weird. Where's all the stuff gone? Some bugger is gonna pay! Fist smashing. Oh god, what about the stuff in my room? I better go check. Yeah, I better do. Paul's room is up in the attic, or the loft, whatever you call it. Yellow arrows are pointing you in the right way. Red arrows are ways you don't need to go, but you can go. Grey arrows are currently unselectable places. Thanks, Kawenma. What? Most people won't know what I'm on about. You can't go anywhere, bloody hell. Gosh. Half the time spent on making this went into drawing these bloody places. No, everything's gone. Oh my god, cutscene from this the game. Cutscene from the I game. Had all my games up here. I had all my important stuff. Oh, what's that? I look awful. Dust bunnies. The pictures and me but there. There is one thing of mine left. My super deluxe high tech edition hoverboard 2000. Red cheeks. It's in the back garden. I can't go anywhere without it. I don't know why my cheeks are always rosy like that, or red, or pink, I don't know. My window is still here. Luckily the faces go away from part 2 onwards, and we're pretty much done with part 1 already. Gosh. I think it now, again. Angry. What is with doors? They take a holiday without even telling you. Yeah, they do. Oh look, waterfall steam. Haha, <laughs> this tree's been chopped. Okay, the shed isn't there. My super deluxe high tech edition hoverboard 2000. Zelda. My best choice of vehicle. You see, I am the co owner of Piece of Pie Software and we make loads of cool stuff that the world has never seen before. 
Oh, we at Blue Supply Software work hard finding useful materials from around the world to use in the production of useful things like this, the Hoverboard 2000. It's boggy. Various other things we make in the 2000 series include a Translator Master 2000. It's me. Translation device that allows you to understand anything you may see or hear. That is, if the particular language is programmed into the translator. Robot the walk. Flush Master, which is a special toilet that has super flush power, leaving absolutely 0% mess. It even automatically cleans the rest of the toilet for you, and leaves it smelling lemony fresh, or any other smell that you like better than lemon. Just press the button that matches your preference. It's Ivis. Oh, and there's the Gigabyte Master 2000. A very shiny hard drive that is actually so powerful that it only works in piece of pie computers. This particular hard drive has 2,000 gigabytes of space on it. Some members of the Pops team also make stuff like special yummy donuts. Gosh. Like job. And Ivis signed a deal with Sony to help make the piece of Sony speakers way back when. They were very limited edition, so if you got your hands on some, you're lucky. Yay for you! Uh, that about wraps up all important stuff about piece of pie software for now. Oh yeah, we're going to beat Microsoft one day in a head-to-head -head company versus company. Loud. Going down. Loud. Now, I should go and wander down my street to see if I can ask anybody about this mysterious emptiness of my house. Oh, thank Bye. fudge for Bye. that. Bye. That was long, Bye. wasn't it? No. Well, uh... I guess I'll see you in part two. Yeah, I will. I guess we have to watch the credits first. Gosh. What awesome credit sequence!